going on ladies and gentlemen? Now we're out here today talking about safety features on handguns, more particularly manual safeties. 2015, we had a student get involved in a self-defense situation to where they drew their firearm, presented said firearm, and as they were pulling through to take the shot, nothing happened. This is due to the fact that they forgot to click off their manual safety. I'm going to demonstrate what this person did. As they came out of the holster, they presented their firearm, tried to go bang, and as you can see, nothing happens until this manual safety is clicked off. The striker will not drop. Now, as CCW holders, when we draw our gun, we're already behind the curve, so it is paramount that we can get this gun into functioning order and into the fight as fast as possible. Now what you also find is very common with new shooters is they want that extra level of security that you get with a manual safety. However, if we go to the range once or twice, shoot a couple mags, and they will not build that muscle memory and the fundamentals of when they draw this firearm and they're presenting it, that safety comes off. Now I want to add something that Hayden did not go over. You know, after this student contacted us, they were very distraught. Thank God the assaulter backed off or they would more than likely be dead. <clears throat> but when the student came to us, they're like, hey, I'm demanding that they needed more training. So we pulled the student aside and said, what should you have done? Not only could they verbalize it, they physically showed us what they should have done. So I basically said, you don't need more training you need to apply the training that we've already given you. And what I tend to do is we pour, pour our hearts out into our students, but if you don't take the knowledge home and apply it, there, at some point, I'm gonna stop training you because I can't take you to the next level. And the last thing I'm gonna do is give you a spot that someone else could really use to protect themselves and families or a third party if needed. Um, at the end of the day, it's a choice. You know, I do my job, I fulfill my obligations, and you are to take the knowledge home and continue your education. And if you don't wanna do that, there's a lot of other companies out there that will gladly take your money and put you through class after class after class with no true progressive growth. And to me, that's unacceptable. If you're carrying a gun, you have a responsibility to constantly grow.